Hello, we are back with game number two. Uh, we are doing a live cast again, myself and Hirasuda. And uh, I think we have a really good strategy we've been working up. So we're actually going to go medieval this one. We're gonna get a bunch of plate armor, some weapons and a few shield belts. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unpause and get going here. So the current strategy is here. Suda's going to be doing a sweep of resources to collect them. And then we're going to get probably about four smithies out and then just start pumping out plate armor, uh, swords. We're going to pretty much focus on a melee push here with shield belts to act as our buffer. Not sure how effective it's going to be, but uh, I think we have the manpower to do it. If we get four workbenches, we should be able to get these um, going pretty quick. Oh, I never named my pawns. Wait, am I not on a faction? Um, I'm not on a faction. All right, hey, there we go. Hey, now suddenly it's are. working. Okay, I need to name these guys. I'll do that as we're going here. Um, why are they not doing anything? Okay, we got some mining orders out. I'm going to get the allowed area going here too, so they start building the right spot. Schedule, restrict. All right, so we're gonna go for this live pocket right here and we're probably gonna build a bunch of these uh, smithing tables, um, electric, obviously. I think number one is gonna get some light in there though. So I'm gonna do a standing lamp and power source. I wonder if other teams are gonna go for a mid rush this one or if we're gonna see kind of similar strategy. It's kind of annoying those ancient tank traps because you can't uh, deconstruct them. I know. All right, my guys have got a uh, full load of fungus and wood to come and drop off. Okay, awesome. I'll make a zone here right by the entrance. I just need to dig out this corner. They're not prioritizing the rocks, but I'll have it in just a second. Okay. Yeah, at least the collapse rocks, they, they uh, mine pretty quick, so there should be no time at all. Okay. Um, the collapse rocks actually have more HP than a steel wall, so you might want to leave the ones that you're not going um, to use touch. for. All right, uh, cool. I left them up. Let's do a few electric smithies, get these going. I should, should I make them really close to each other here? And then I'll get a few tool cabinets, speed it up even more. Okay, let's deconstruct that ship chunk. And then let's get some of these going. Um, if we do see anyone rush, maybe we get some turrets up, but nice part is as long as we're not too forward posture, we're not going to be considered as much a threat. So I think we're good on that way. And I'm getting um, a stove up here in just one second too. Cool. I want to get some of that gold to get the mood, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to mine a little bit of that gold. Be nice to get those fences up just to smack that booty beauty modifier as high as we can. Smack that booty modifier. <laughs> a little friendly and slip there, but uh, yeah, exactly. That's That's the one. Get the booty modifier as high as possible. Always good for morale. 
Yeah. Be careful of these tool cabinets, actually. They use so much steel. Although, eh, we got lots of steel. I'm not too worried. I want right, to start. I'm going to get some food going. Yeah, good, good. I got a, um, a stove being built. Um, so once that's built, you can um, start cooking ASAP. Perfect. I think we've got enough that we can probably get away with vegetarian lavish meals. If you think so, um, I think we need at least two meals minimum. Um, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look at other teams are doing. Um, Green is just kind of collecting resources. They're going for gold. Daylilies in the wood area. Interesting, I kind of like that. What's the bedroom? Um, wow, very impressive barracks. That's smart. Uh, Red's doing the same strategy. They're using that center pocket there. I like that there's a few areas you can make a base. It's kind of nice in that way. And then Blue's using uh, more of a forward posture this time too. And uh, they're going for nutrient paste, interestingly enough. No weapons coming out though yet. And it uh, looks like teams are going for a lot of a slower start this game. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops. And this is perfect, a slow start for us right now. Yes. And these tank traps are so annoying. I don't even want to attack them because they'll take a bit, but. I'm going to put down a couple of batteries to just um, get charged up. As like a mobile turret kind of thing or? Exactly. All right. Oh, you guys eating without a table. That's a, a big no. Absolute no on the rim. Well, at least the mood buff from the lavish meal will balance it out. Yeah, true, true. Um, all right, we need to get this place looking a bit nicer now. So let's get some gold fences down. Yeah, Bone King, looking forward to getting this medieval strat going too. Uh, you know, the base is kind of operational. We're closing in on the end of day one here, but since we have four of these electric smithies, we're gonna be able to just pump out the uh, plate armor pretty quick. We are gonna need one machining table for some shield belts. I think what we do is we get all the resources here, <clears throat> here, Suda, and then we just have all of our tasks or all of our pawns pretty much just building. Sounds good. I would like to be aggressing um, around hour 12 of day two, so we have some time to uh, take out some teams because if we wait too long we'll have no time at all makes sense uh, missing steel we should have lots of steel actually we might need getting their steel node up here too okay I'm gonna start getting um some pawns building really soon. Last steel tool cabinets coming up. And um, we're gonna need a little bit more steel for all this plate armor. Okay, I'll uh, focus on some mining. Okay, awesome. Let's get 170, eh, that's not awful. Uh, definitely not wood plate armor, no thank you. Uh, missing steel to make it still. Mm. How much you got there? It's 140 you're mining out. Yeah, it's interesting how there's really not just one big fat steel vein this time. I like that. Honestly, maybe these three tool cabinets were a bit greedy. I believe you only get benefit from two. Are you sure it's not three? I thought it was three. Pretty sure it's two. Mm. Well, if it's two, that's a real shame, but oh well. Can't change it now. Hey, our barracks is super impressive, though, um, from all these gold fences, so mood should be all right. Nice part, since we're working inside the area as well as sleeping, uh, it's going to be giving us a really nice mood modifier. Mm. 
critical break risk. Oh, I think food. Um, where are those meals that you made? I don't see them. Oh, um, must have already been all eaten. Okay. Um, let's queue up some more. I honestly think we don't do lavish. Uh, we don't have enough Nutrifungus to feed all eight twice. Yeah, all right. Uh, are you managing the food cooking? Okay, yeah. you got it. Awesome. Two tool cabinets in chat, they're confirming. Yeah, so, um, yep, it looks like uh, One Hunchman is uh, an idiot and he will be deconstructing one of these tool cabinets right now. Okay, why is someone not making the smithy? Someone was tasked to it earlier. Oh, I think purple is. Okay, awesome. All right, we got uh, one plate armor going. And uh, let's get another one queued up here. And let's see other teams. Uh, nutrient paste, machining table, no weapons on blue, that's good. North isn't a threat. Red is doing some mood management, one machining table as well. Uh, it looks like green is going for the most aggressive. They're going for a golden plate armor from the smithy and uh, machining tables, uh, some looks like machine pistols. So uh, machine pistols are going to be a little bit uh, chaotic for us to deal with, but I do think uh, even just one or two shield belts with a bunch of plate armor should be able to overwhelm that. And interesting, these two smithies aren't connected. I just um, fixed it. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And you got food now, right? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to have all my guys shift to um, uh, smithing. All right. I think I'm going to um, go get some plasteel. Sounds good. Make sure they're eating in between this. Yep, food's up. Oh, it's nice when you manage your needs properly. It's nothing worse than yes. when needs are all falling apart. Making plate armor. Okay, let's consume a meal and then... Oh, we're just missing a little bit more steel. Do we have any steel veins near us? How much are we missing? There's some steel here. Okay. I'll manually go and get that. Alright, I might not get away with this um, plasteel heist. I've got armed pawns coming to try and get me. Oh, do you? Oh, from green? Yeah, we should get a turret up ASAP. Um, can you use some of that plasteel to make a turret um, back near our base area? Even if we okay. can just hold them at the caverns and feel better. Just grab and go whatever you get once they come through. I think I will be able to get one node each. That's annoying. One of my pawns is digging at steel instead of working on the, the plate armor. I changed priorities too. I don't know how he went there. but uh, Alright, we're good. I think last plate armor is getting made. Alright, so that's four. Four queued up. If you can hold them back with turrets and stuff, I got four guys working around the clock right now on the plate armors. Um, Bone King says press the copy button. Yeah, I know. I'm just being lazy right now. Why is he not building though? Interesting. There we go. Uh, actually, pretty good speed on these plate armors. Oh, and it is day two. Let me switch that over. Um, mental break. What's that? Death here, Suda two. Oh, shit! I must have lost one of my. Damn it! You got one, of you guys. Uh, do we have any turrets? Oh shit! We don't have anything. Um, this isn't good. We need to get a turret made asap. Can you prioritize one of those? I'm working on it. Oh fuck! All right, we need to make them inside. Yeah, 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 just build them inside. We don't have much steel, though. Not good. I'm disallowing the door so we don't leave it. Okay. That's too bad. Um, you might want to tend your one guy that got shot. Wait, why is one of my guys wounded? Why did he leave? What the hell? I have smithing set as, like, literally number one right now. 
There's no reason they should be leaving the place. And he was drafted too. Oh, did you accidentally draft one? Um, I, uh, he was out there running about to get shot. So I drafted him and brought him inside. Smart. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to get more steel. I don't know. Oh, well. So I think we, um, learned maybe if we were trying to do this strategy, you need a lot more steel. Um, things we probably could have cut down on to maybe like make the beds out of wood. That would have given us a few extra hundred steel. Um, and then definitely get a turret up and operational. Green's pulling back though. So I think we're all right. All right, I'm going to deploy a turret up front. Yeah, smart. I'm going to make sure my guys don't walk off. I'm changing my allowed area. Yeah, Plasteel Swords actually could be kind of nice. We don't have steel for them. Okay, that's one plate armor done. Um... Honestly, I think we make some wood plate armor. I know it's a bit of a meme, but uh Don't want our boys naked, you know? Mm hmm We could also deconstruct some beds. Um, and we don't even have weapons yet. Yikes, yikes. Alright, uh change of plans. How about we go for machine pistols and plate armor? That's like much more attainable. Okay. I'm gonna try and get some more steel. Yeah, but you could get more steel. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's another plate armor. So we have three plate armors. That's pretty good. Um, Why is purple going down there? Oh, it's mine. Okay, that's fine. Where's area one? Yeah, which just mine a little bit more here. It's nice that you got that turret up. I'll hold them off for a bit. Um, they're not really interested in us either. They're just interested in doing that. We can dig around that. Um, although they're really, they have like the, the silk road for them. They're funneling right back to their base. They have the golden plate armor too. That's amazing. Looks like uh, right above us, Blue's going for auto pistols. Um, interesting strat. Oh, their base looks the nicest so far out of everyone. I don't think we have time for any more plate armors, so I'm just going to pump out some weapons. Alright, I'm kind of creeping our... I've, I crept our turret forward a little bit. We have uh, two, by the way. There's another one in base, too. Do two axes there, two axes here, four auto pistols. Oh, dialogue. Looks like they're, uh, wait, they have a constructoid. Oh, there was a mech thing in the center. Oh, oh cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. I like that. So they've that. got a turret advantage um, right there. Oh yeah, they got a big turret advantage. Perfectly fine though. We can always dig through a side area too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also curious when other teams are going to fight. Well, speaking of which, red and green are engaging right now in the top left quadrant. Uh, looks like they have taken some shots and green's going to try to push them out. We might get our opening soon here, here, Suda, to walk up. Nice. 
Those weapons are on full speed right now. Ooh, very good. We're definitely going to have the most armor of the whole game. We need it. That we do. Uh, we're almost halfway through day two, so we're going to need to start making some moves soon. Weapons are coming up. Um, I might even try to get... I have actually all pawns are working. I'm making some axes. No idea if they're good or not, but uh, I figured it'd look cool. Yeah, get a few helmets up here too. Can you throw one of your pawns on a helmet work uh, station? Actually, you know what? We don't even have. Ooh, plasteel axe made by accident. We don't even have enough steel. Oh, you got you got lots of steel mined out. Uh, one of your pawns is drafted, by the way. I just undrafted him. Okay. It was just in a corner. Let's see. Were you were you wanting the axe or or a helmet? Um, honestly, I think we're good. I got all the puns here. Uh, all the workstations are pretty much being used. I'm not sure that last steel plate will be made in time. Oh, you just got a headshot on one of their puns. Yeah, I saw that. Not a, not a serious injury, but still good. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Looks like there was some action with uh, red and green, but no one died from other team. Both have been pretty safe. Uh, chem feel coming out though for red and they got frag grenades. Uh, first time we've seen that come through, so that's interesting tech. That is fascinating. Chain shotguns for green. Um, right now, though, teams are all waiting very late, and action is going to need to start soon because there's only 12 hours left, and that's uh, about 10 minutes or so. So this game's about to pick up really quick here. And look at all the weapons in our base. Oh my god, we're actually starting to get kitted out. I love it. We're getting ready for war. Slow start, but we're uh, exponentially gearing up here. <laughs> this is the Snowpiercer special, the mix of pistols and axes. Why don't you grab the auto pistols? Because my guys have the armor. And I'll have the axes. Sounds good. Nice, you got some more shots there, I heard. Yeah, actually, I've gotten uh, a few shots. Oh, uh -oh. that's a daze. It's too bad. Yeah, we still don't have a prison, but at the same time, no one's sleeping. Yeah, so just turn it all into a prison. Why not? All right, uh, once that last plate armor is up, I'm thinking we roll out, honestly. Yeah, sounds good. Who's working on that workbench? Oh, the helmets. Just got stopped. Oh, there's, oh, it's your guy. One of your guys is uh, working on the workbench. There's like three work left. Oh, I see you're capturing. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. The last plate armor is just about done. You pop out that last helmet, I think we go right after that. Okay. I'm gonna eat a meal here first. Oh, we don't have any meals. Um, can I cook some? Last thing we want is them to break. Okay. Yeah, once he's done, just come back to base. Let's gear up and let's head out. Let's march to war. Why did he... Oh, he hasn't slept. Whatever. Nice, last plate's done. Beautiful. You got that last helmet done. Nice. <laughs> Look at the hit squad. 
Yep, this is gonna be good. Oh this my movie. god, the axes <laughs> and the auto pistols. Let's do I, it. You know, I want to do. I want to. Um, I want to grab our turret stuff. Yeah. Yep. They have two turrets there. Um, we could just try to dig through and not go through those turrets. Right below here. I don't think it'll take us long to just dig right up. Okay, I'm going to clear allowed areas, and I'm going to use allowed areas to make sure we focus on just mining. Okay. I've got our turrets and batteries. Why is he digging up machining up there? Area 1? Where is it? Why is Area 1 showing? All the way up there. Oh, I see. Yep, there we go. Fixed. All right, we're geared up. Oh, we should have had a light with us. Oh, well. Do they see? I don't think they notice. You think it's quicker if we just shoot it? I'm just helping. All right, so there's only uh, seven hours left. I think we prioritize um, killing green, although red's in the middle, so maybe we get red. They're just convenient, you know? Totally. And they won't be able to reposition their turrets either. Blue is um, not really a threat. They're just kind of doing their own thing. I say we don't touch blue. Sounds good. All right, we're just about through. That one turret might get a brief range at us, but let's just push right through. Oh, oh no. I think you leave him. Yeah. Mood management. Yep, yep. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> mood management, goddamn. Oh, you leave another to a daze? I did. Oh, that's brutal. Oh well. Can I self tend? Do really have self tend on by default? Just tend to one shot and push up. Okay. I got the axes, so I'll pump on the door. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna drop in no time. Ancraft says now I would pull back. Absolutely not. We're gonna win this war. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of weapons here, Suda. <laughs> what oh, do you I think? Got the grenades. Oh, the grenades too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't remember the or don't forget the undrafting trick. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Yep. Next grenade salvo, I go... To war! <laughs> oh god, the grenades! <laughs> oh, they have a turret, oh, the too. Oh my god, alright, we get different angle, different angle. <laughs> the zoning grenades are great. <laughs> you know what? We're going right through. Oh no! Oh, I got smoked. <sighs> you got this. It was a good try, Ron. Yeah, I think the uh, medieval approach might not be the best against that. Oh, well. Perhaps not. All right, so we are uh, out personally on purple. Um, Actually, you got one pawn left, so uh, still there. Green pawn. is pushing up. Green has the gold plate armor and sword, maybe superior. Uh, curious what they're going for. I think they're coming to finish us, which is ironic, um, as we are actually not a threat whatsoever. Three hours left in the game. That's about three minutes. And uh, anything could happen here still, too. There's still three teams, and they're shooting their own guy. <laughs> the uh, Big E just took a lot of friendly fire there from his own squad. 
Honestly, if you bait the shots, they might just shoot him by accident again. And here Suda is on the run for his life here currently. A big salvo there does connect. Looks like Biggie is closing in. Another shot out of the pistol does miss. Few deflected and he is down for the count. Let's take a quick look at components here. Right now, Blue actually has uh, the component lead, I believe. They have 55. Uh, Sage has a bunch of tox gas and he's gassing up his uh, chamber there. Interesting strategy. Um, as you can see, purple was absolutely decimated by red. That was us, of course, but they have absolutely no. Actually, I take it back. 52 components from red team. Not enough to win currently. They need to get that 47 from their uh, stockpile over, but they still could win with that. Green team has 41 and they are on the move. So green is currently last place uh, with lead being blue and second being red so far, but this could turn at any point and blue doesn't have enough components to actually beat red if red just moves those over from their stockpile what are your thoughts here suit about the grenade strategy um it didn't seem all that effective um i i think that there's there's definitely room to to see it developed but um it didn't feel decisive in that battle i think the the smgs is what did it that is game let's take a quick look at who has how much 79 for red team Blue team has 86 and then green is at 52. So number one, blue team is going to be victorious. Padre and Sage are going to take this game. If you want to join a game, we're going to link the discord in the description. Hop on in. We uh, play weekly. Anyways, until next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.